Hey people, so I've been working on a new multiplayer mod called Geosiv. It's, uh, it's a fantasy mod that's inspired by the Age of Discovery Conquest. So city capture is basically disabled, uh, and you, get your, you win the game through victory points. So you start with all these units, I'll tell you how they work, you, they all do a specific thing. You first you plop down your te teleportation specialist, and then you can use it to airdrop your settlers anywhere on the map. So that's the main gimmick, that you start with the map revealed, and you get to choose exactly what land you want to play with. So you get three settlers, so you might want to put them in three different places. I like to put them not too close, but also not too far. Uh, one thing to look for is these special district resources. So any luxury, along with uh, tobacco, um, coal, saltpeter, uranium, and fish are all the district resources. So. Each of these district resources unlock a unique district that you can build. So you don't have to airdrop your settlers. So I can put one right here, for example. But just don't put your starting settler on your airbase. Otherwise, you can't airdrop any more settlers, and that will really screw you. Uh, so yeah, we'll pick one. Uh, why don't we do one right here? OK, uh, so don't worry about leaving your workers behind. You can actually rebase them once you plant the the cities that you airdropped same thing with the district constructors so uh the districts are like um they're they're wonders or small wonders that uh they give like a massive massive effects and you get to choose three at the start of the game and then after that you can't build anymore uh so you airbase base these guys over or sorry you rebase them over uh, note that you might have be in a case where your district, it has to be within your big fat cross for you to be able to build it in the city. Uh, and so you need the border expand if it's like in a position like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to we'll build the border expand building. So there's a one shield city walls, which is 500 defense plus one HP, basically unkillable. It's, that's the thing that makes it so you can't take cities in this mod. Uh, for one shield, you can also build a border expand. So that will help you out if you're if you want a district resource that's like here, for example. So yeah, just make sure it's within your big fat cross, it's within your borders, and it has to be roaded. And in those circumstances, you can build the district and yeah, get three of them at the start of the game. So yeah, you rebase this over, make sure this is roaded. Oh, one thing is that uh, make sure you don't airdrop on top of somebody else's units. So to make sure you don't do that, because if you do that, then you will lose your settler uh, to make sure that doesn't happen, you recon the spot first. So I'd recon here, and I'd, I'd see, okay, there's no enemy cities here or enemy settlers here, so I'll go ahead and airdrop that myself. But if you do see an enemy settler, obviously don't try to drop on top of it, otherwise it, because it won't work. So we have the gems hooked. It's within our borders and it's within our big fat cross, so right now we can rush the commercial district. Here's a list of all the effects that the districts have. They have some really cool, strong effects. So think really hard at the start of the game which three districts you want and plan a strategy accordingly. Uh, so yeah, once we have the, the border expand here, simple enough, we rush the scouting district. And then we do the same thing with the, uh, the maritime district there. Awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will link the Discord if you want to come play some GeoCiv with us. It's still being playtested, but I think it's got a ton of potential, and it's a lot of fun.